What's up all you Drury Outdoorsmen? Welcome back to another edition of 13's Cutting Room Floor. We've got a doozy of an episode for you today with some unbelievable encounters and extended footage you didn't get to see on 13. First up, Mark's trusty cameraman Wade is hitting the muddy blind in an attempt to close the deal on a buck that he likes to call the Gap 10. Then after I bring down the largest buck of my hunting career, we're showing just how much work actually went in to tracking that monster down. And last, stick around with Old Man Winter as he lays eyes on the incomparable Little Caesar. phase four and we're going in after the gap 10 looking forward to sitting here jp sat here a couple phases back that awesome encounter that unicorn buck so tonight we're going in after the gap 10. pre-lock is one of our favorite phases we've killed some giants through the past and fall of 18 was no exception here we are on the cutting room floor and if you watch the episode you know that i was able to run into my number one target buck and we literally ran into him having fun darling I told her we were gonna make the fastest entry into a blind we've ever done in our life and we're doing it. And of course, Matt kills that buck called Gnarly. Two giants hit the ground, but there's a lot of extras we're gonna share right now. First things first, Will and Wade are in on a, a buck we call the Gap 10. He didn't disappoint. I mean, this, this one's a jaw dropper when you see him in person. All the way at the end of the field. Oh yeah, that's him. but I'm afraid no cigar, Wade. But what an incredible encounter. Up next, an extended look at the series of events following up my harvest of a giant buck that we call Marley. Pretty sure he's dead, but this feeling doesn't happen often. Killing the big steer of your life with a bow, with any weapon. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow this raid blood trail because it's ridiculous. This is unreal. Wow, the nocturnal broke. I thought he would. Alright, we have blood trail and maybe a hundred yards. It's spraying out both sides. Um, but Mark and Dad both wanted me to go back to camp, send him the hit, just to be safe. If he's dead, he's dead. But if I sing along him and we jump him, he could go for a mile. So just to be safe, we're gonna head back to camp, get a clip of the footage, send it to those guys, and by then dad'll probably be back. So that's cool too. We'll go uh, hopefully recover them together. I think we got a dead deer, Terry. I think so too, buddy. Woo <laughs> We just watched it. I watched it on my phone. I'll tell you what, he's, he's, if he's not dead, he's gonna be dead in a matter of seconds. Yeah. He's dead dead. The blood trail was, uh, it's stupid. He's quartered to a little bit, but it don't blood. matter. I mean, you did put it right where you needed to put it. Here we are at the scene of the crime. 
So let's uh, let's pick up the blood trail wherever you guys saw him hit the road here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I tell you I was right over the hill? Right there. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh he god. wasn't I was what 20, 20 yards, yards from, from where you stopped? stopped. Oh I even told goodness. him, I go, I bet he's right over this hill. Here he was. <laughs> what a giant. Absolutely. Well, brother, one of the things that I have become uh, as I've gotten older is lazy. Lazy. I was gonna lazy. Say that for you. And the reason I've gotten lazy is because our farm, there's a lot of cattle in and around the area, and it seems as though the tick population has increased exponentially. To kind of stay out of the ticks, I've been spending more time in my Can Am getting to and from my stand locations in the middle of the summer whenever we're doing all of our hanging, trimming, and so on and so forth. That's one of the things I like about the mobility of it is to go between trees, whatever it is, and get all that foliage off of you. you can actually make an access trail on your way to your stand, which I do oftentimes in my Can-Am. And what I've found during the summer, it's, it's less intrusive to actually take a piece of machinery, whether it's a tractor, a Can-Am, or your truck, whatever it is. I think the deer, uh, when they can hear it coming from a long ways off and you're taking your time and you're not doing anything real crazy, uh, I'm like you, it, it seems as though they get kind of accustomed to it and they'll let you get in there, get your work done, and get out. Now come season, you won't see us doing that, but pre-season, middle of summer, absolutely. We're still in phase four here, the pre-lock. Matt and Mark have literally knocked the ball out of the park here in this phase. Typically, we have pretty decent luck, but we had exceptional luck this year. Mother Nature's been kind with the weather, but we're gonna be sitting in a blind. We're sitting in a penthouse. We're just trying to shoot a doe. I'm trying to keep the numbers down here. We're gonna do just that here this evening. Last year, we came out with deer cast and we created an algorithm that took 13 different weather variables and blended them inside of an algorithm that gives you a prediction on an hour by hour basis in your neck of the woods. With the tweaks that we have going now, I think it's gonna be above 90% in terms of accuracy. And even if it's off just a little bit, you can take the custom bar, slide the custom bar one way or the other. You can take our algorithm and customize it to where you hunt. It's an incredible new feature, part of the Elite Series within DeerCast. Check it out. Those encounters are what we here at Drury Outdoors live for. And even though Old Man Winter had already taken out two incredible deer, Little Caesar was an exciting prospect for things to come. 
That's all for this week's episode, but make sure to tune in next week for another edition of 13's Cutting Room Floor. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of 13 and all of our Outdoor Channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.